What is going on guys? Welcome back to Channel Critical Overlord here. Just talking about the Jordan Peele upcoming movie. Nope, again in this video here today. Shout out to you 3C Films. You shared this tweet over on Twitter where it looks like uh, some cast posters or character posters are going to be shown. Maybe we'll get even more tonight as it pertains to some new information on Nope. Maybe we'll get footage shown, but it looks like there's some char character posters coming. And there's also another one, like a massive one with all the characters just looking up, presumably at the cloud with many of us are still thinking this is going to be alien centered that original trailer that came out was very intriguing in the sense that it didn't give you any real answers while also raising a lot of interesting questions which then draws you in to say you know i gotta see this movie to get my questions answered so another effective trailer from the marketing and everything that usually happens with a Jordan Peele movie as it pertains to like how they don't really show you too much in those trailers, but they show you enough to kind of raise your raise your uh, questions and also get you intrigued and say, yeah, I got to go check this out. So with Nope, the running theory for a lot of people is that this somehow relates to aliens. Jordan Peele himself did recently like last month come out and say that Daniel Kaluuya's character is actually someone he wrote with Daniel in mind. So he stated in an interview with Empire, he stated that he wrote Note with Daniel in mind for the role, a humble man destined for an epic and otherworldly confrontation. Daniel's craft is on a different level, but it's it's his warmth that grounds audiences even when even during points of absolute madness. You may be watching a nightmare, but when he's on screen, at least you've got your brother with you, and that's all that you need. So the fact that he used the terms of otherworldly experience or otherworldly confrontation and how this would be someone destined for this, it does again otherworldly would kind of just add more to the to the add more fuel to the fire for those of us who think this has to do with aliens because of the fact that anything that's not human to most people uh or not stuff we see day to day on this earth <laughs> will be otherworldly so aliens for instance so i have seen people and i know i have like a, a video that I, I guess i could say it went viral because it has like almost thirty thousand views I posted two months ago is my trailer thoughts and my theory of how it's inspired by a Twilight Zone episode. Shout out to you once again, C-Man, if you watch this video. But I think it's that Twilight Zone episode, the monsters are doing Maple Street and how it could be drawing a lot of inspiration from uh, some for some other conspiracy theories out there right now. But if these aliens are indeed a thing and they're invading us because there's shots in the trailer that make it seem like there are otherworldly creatures involved in this maybe these are creatures who are actually here to help us but because of how we react to it before even getting to know them we end up being revealed as the ultimate monster in the movie it just seems like that's what this movie is is gonna be just my own theory and what i think the direction is gonna be it'll be a way to just commentate on how humans themselves view themselves as so good when they're in these dire situations ignoring the fact that how they're trying to keep themselves safe and their loved ones and other people they care about as as it pertains to other people the way even though your your actions are rooted in trying to keep yourself safe you are still behaving like a monster you're being nasty towards others you're being nasty towards things you don't even really understand you think you have a full grasp on what's going on but you actually don't and that ends up being your undoing when you actually are confronted with the thing that you were desperately trying to keep everyone safe from uh it's like your own undoing because you thought you had it all figured out and you think that your actions are rooted in being protective but the way you're responding to it is actually displaying your own your own personal monsters that you need to deal with because of the of the way panic just makes you respond to everyone else that's not a loved one or a close relative it just seems like that's what they're going to try to do with the aliens in this movie the fact that the aliens could be spun into a narrative in which they are the ones that are good and we the ones that we're going to be spending the most time with the humans are the actual monsters we'll be seeing how they re how they treat each other and whether or not they are actually maybe some of them even in cahoots with the aliens i know i've seen some people talk about maybe these are people who can shape shift and what that means is that maybe these aliens have actually been here for a very long time and they're just coming to wipe out the human race you know typical i guess invasion movies but with more of a i guess political spin on it because of the social commentary aspects that many of us think and know and have seen from him in the past it seems like this is just going to be commentating on how we respond in panic 
and why some of us when it comes to panic are the actual monsters more so than the thing that's having us panic because of the way you react and the way you treat others and the way you get nasty all in the vein of wanting to keep yourself safe if that makes any sense meanwhile you don't have a full grasp on what exactly is going on but you are just so self-righteous in your own regard that you are behaving like a monster and you don't even know it but meanwhile you want us to worry about the aliens <laughs> let's just say that if the aliens are a thing in this movie um i would love for something like that to go down so just a way to commentate on human behavior and how humans do kind of get ahead of themselves when it pertains to panic nobody wants to stop and think everybody's just acting off of pure emotion no one's thinking logically and then you know all of this all of these emotional led behaviors that you'd make are going to get you hurt it ends up being your undoing versus the thing that you actually trying to keep your safe from now now you're in the danger you're in the danger zone because of how you reacted to it you panicked and you overreacted you didn't have a clear grasp on it and now you're suffering but this otherworldly experience that Daniel's character is going to have in the film, I, again, I'm someone who, until we get more details, which if we do get some footage tonight, I'm just going to make another video. Um, I, I think this is aliens. I think it's going to be something to commentate on humans and how we react and very much, I guess, panic like scenarios and situations, given like the one where I, I think, I guess you could say we're still in right now, uh, as it pertains to everything that's been going on across the world for the past two years. And we all know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to say it because of how YouTube is very finicky with that stuff. But I think this movie is going to be something that a lot of people watch. And while it be, may give you vibes like movies like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, maybe even mo movies like The Blob, where you have this community this collective fear in a community but this collective fear reveals that the actual monsters aren't what they're even afraid of it's them themselves because of how they respond when they're afraid yes you're afraid and you have a right to be afraid but you don't have a right to then go around and and do all of these heinous things to other people i just think that's what it's going to build to the community unfolding and the aliens will be the good guys but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below what do you think about the new poster what do you think daniel's looking at let me know down in the comment section if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video